So, how does a book like this come about? I have a friend who quit university, and before he quit, he was told he had to go to the uh, the careers advice person. And so he went, and when they asked him what he wanted to do now he was quitting the university, he said he wanted to become a pirate. In my head, this story grew into something where the the careers advice person said, oh, well, you'll need a boat. And they, they talked about what kind of boat, and they, together they managed to fashion this pirate life. Because, well, rather like my friend, I've always fancied being a bit of a pirate, a bit of an Errol Flynn type. Now, I had this, but I didn't really know what to do with it until the last week of u university, when I got dysentery, something I'd only previously heard about on the Oregon Trail. And there wasn't a lot I could do except hang around close to the toilet, so I wrote a short story. And I wrote a short story about a man who becomes a pirate, but in this day and age, on the Norfolk waterways, on a wherry, where he attacks uh, tourists and things. And it was quite fun. And one of the characters in this story was someone who sort of set it all up for him, called James. And James ran a company that made your dreams come true, and he was helped by somebody called Morgan, who was a sort of blank, slightly peculiar person who moulded whatever you wanted him to be. And he helped James in this slightly... It's nice because it's it's making people's dreams come true, but at the same time it was kind of creepy in that they were manipulating people into being happy. And, and that was it for a long time. But I kept thinking of different things you could do. Like I thought of a birthday party by this 93 year old who wanted her sixth birthday party again. And how you could rearrange it with all the people left alive and then maybe actors or something pretending to be who they were when they were six. Or I thought about somebody who wanted to kill their boss and how the company could arrange it that he feels he has killed his boss only to find his boss has not died and is uh, prosecuting him. Or there was all kinds of things. I had lists and lists and lists of all kinds of wonderful things that could happen and dreams that could be instantiated, meaning brought to an instance, made happening. But it wasn't a novel, and I wasn't really sure how to do it as a novel. That was until I went to uh, Middlesex University where I did an MA, and I started this book again for about the sixth time in, as part of this MA. And... Uh, we were studying uh, gumshoe novels, you know, like private detective novels. And I thought, well, that's exactly what I need. I need a private detective to go and find out all of the different stories and to put them all together. And that was the birth of Eve. That was the birth of my gumshoe. Um, yeah. And that's how it came about. This truly is a story that grew out of pirates and dysentery. But hopefully it's become something a bit more than that.